for Emerald Kangalala, doing some gathering can help quite a bit. Here's an edited map I made again. The most important ones in my opinion would be from Area 6, Armor Skin from the Remobra and Mega Potions and Flash Bombs. In Area 5, Pickaxes. There are also some in Area 10. You can use those pickaxes in Area 4 to get a Pitfall Trap, and Area 10 to get a Shock Trap. There's also Max Potions and Fire Casters in Area 10. And finally, there are some potions from the Honey Spot in Area 2. You can, of course, feel free to gather for anything else you may find helpful, such as whetstones. There should be a link in the description to this image, as well as a couple of guides not made by me that go into more depth if that's helpful. Before you fight Emerald Kangalala, I highly recommend that you clear out areas 1 and 3. This will make it a lot easier if he ends up going to those areas, and you won't have to split your attention between them. Velocipray carves will give you throwing knives, so I'm ignoring them. Congos will give you potions, so you might as well carve them. From that point, you'll just need to track down Emerald Kangalala. If you're really lost, there's some Psychoserum and Area 8 in the top left. In my experience, he should mostly be in Areas 1, 2, or 3, unless he's weakened. Two things to keep in mind about Emerald Kangalala is that his weak spot is his tail, and he has that big fart attack. That one. Don't approach him too quickly after he does this move. Wait for him to shake his ass first. <laughs> Remember that if you use dual blades that it's very easy to get stuck in a long animation. Trust that you'll do enough damage over time, and only attack once or twice, unless you actually have a big opening. Since this is a solo training quest, the monster is skilled for a single player. That's not to say it won't take a while, but don't feel like you're fighting a completely uphill battle here. If you attack the tip of his tail, you should be able to avoid his rear attack. Dual Blade's biggest strength is its incredible mobility and fast attacks. Play to your strengths. If you're behind him when he does his big blast, you're more likely to be hit. Remember that his attack comes from his back. Remember that Emerald Kangalala likes to charge multiple times in a row. Usually it will be three times, and then he does his big belly flop attack. Gotta love lingering hitboxes. Keep an eye out for them. At least the dual blades armor prevents the stench debuff. Now that the power juice has worn off, I won't be using demon mode as much. Remember to manage your stamina properly, and you don't need demon mode to be active for you to attack. Take openings when you see them. Come <laughs> on. 
Well, shit. Since he ran here after showing me he was hungry, I know where he's going to run. I'll meet him there. Lol. Lamau. I assume he's gotta be weak by now. He may be running away to rest. Definitely running away to rest. And there we go. I hope this video, along with the gathering map and provided links, helps you clear this training quest. Hang in there, and good luck.